Happy New Year to, to everybody. Uh, thank you for following me on Twitter and following the Care Quality Commission. Um, I'm Steve Field, I'm a GP and I'm the Chief Inspector of General Practice. I think it's really important to engage on Twitter because uh, it's a way uh, that I and the Care Quality Commission can pick up what's happening on the ground from health and social care professionals but also from members of the public and, and patients. Uh, first question uh, is from Julie Bailey. Um, congratulations Julie, I'm absolutely thrilled at your award of a CBE in the New Year's Honours list. Uh, very well deserved. Um, your question about complaints is a really important one. Um, patients making complaints um, need to understand the system. It needs to be a simple system. And of course, in CQC, when we inspect practices, we'll want to know about the complaints that have been made and how they've been addressed. And probably most importantly, how the practice has learned from those complaints and improved the system that they have in providing care for, for their patients. The uh, next question is from uh, Alice Evans, and it's a really, really important question because she asks how Care Quality Commission are going to celebrate good and outstanding general medical practice. And, and you know, that I just think that's such an important question because that's exactly what we want to do. I, I was hired to reform uh, the inspection regime for general medical practice, which currently focuses on poor practice. Um, what I'm pleased to be able to say is um, from the summer onwards, we will we'll be bringing in a new system which rates practices. Uh, we'll be able to celebrate outstanding practice. We'll be able to make sure that practice is safe as, as well. Um, we'll be looking at whether practices are safe, effective, caring, responsive, and well-led. And we'll be celebrating great practice um, as we go along from around about April. So I, th I think we'll move into a more celebratory mode as the summer progresses. And that's really important because the vast majority of general medical practice is of a good standard. Another question from Alice Evans uh, is about um, how GPs manage people with complex conditions. Um, I mean, that's an important question as well. As GPs, we're trained uh, at looking at uh, patients and their families in the context of their physical, psychological, and social health care. And, and as we develop our inspection regime, we will also look at rating practices uh, at how they manage across a series of domains. Um, one of those will be um, about uh, elderly care, another uh, regarding long-term conditions, but we'll also be looking at a particular group of very vulnerable adults as well, perhaps the homeless, those with learning disabilities, travellers. Um, all these um, different groups of patients have different challenges, but they all have mixtures of physical, psychological and social issues which impact on their health. And what we'll be doing over the next few months is working on our methodology so that we can celebrate which practices are providing great care. Uh, but also uh, making sure that those who aren't providing the care that patients should expect uh, will be uh, highlighted so that they can improve. A question from Adam um, about how we'll involve uh, children and young people. Um, well, for me as Chief Inspector General Practice, um, the involvement of children and young people in gathering information about practices and local services is really important. Indeed, we're just about to publish a report here from CQC about the transition between children and adults' care, which is a, which is a, is a problem. So not only will we be looking at rating practices on how they look after children, mums and babies, uh, but also in our work on integrated health care, we'll be looking to make sure that there is a seamless transition between children's care and adult care in hospitals. And of course, how the GPs contribute to that transition and provide care for the vulnerable group, which is uh, are those who, who are adolescents. So very important issue, both on getting information from children uh, uh, and uh, teenagers, but also on how we look and inspect those services. Um, question from Donal about consistency uh, of inspectors. It's a, a perennial issue in anyone who's uh, providing an examination or an assessment. Uh, it's how you get consistency uh, on assessment. 
And we're going to try and do that in a number of ways. One is we're going to spend money on training inspectors. Um, we're setting up an academy which will um, help with that. We're going to monitor assessments uh, and put feedback in, uh, feedback loops there to support them so that we can get consistency. Um, but also, the way we're going to restructure the visiting teams to practices uh, learns from experience and from my own background in training practice inspections where we're going to have an inspector trained, we're also going to have a general medical practitioner, a GP, on every visit. Um, we're going to have a nurse or a practice manager, a patient and also a GP registrar so we can help um, train the next generation of uh, GPs who will be on inspections. So with those teams working together, uh, making um, reliable judgments, getting feedback, I believe we can uh, do a very good job on consistency. An interesting question from an organisation called Mistreatment about how we will report our findings and assess individual GPs. In fact, what we're doing as the Care Quality Commission is, is assessing and rating the quality of care provided by our provider, the general medical practice. That could be a single-handed practice or it could be a practice of over 100 GPs. But what we're committed to doing is rating the practice whether it's outstanding, uh, good, needs improvement or inadequate. And we'll be looking at the practice as a whole to make sure it's providing safe, effective, uh, caring uh, care that's responsive and of course well led. Uh, we will publish everything and be open and transparent with the public and with the profession. But it's not about individual GPs. Uh, that's an issue for the General Medical Council, the regulator of the professionals. Uh, for us, it's about regulating the provider, however big or small that provider is. Look, I'm really pleased that we've had um, questions to me today, so, because that's one way that we can have a dialogue. We're trying to produce a really good uh, inspection system for general medical practice. Uh, we're keen to learn, uh, and we are going to reform the system. We are. We're doing this for, for patients and the public uh, and also for the profession. Uh, we need your help and we're very keen to uh, receive more questions and more feedback. Thank you.